Stations on the uh, on the ride yesterday, right out the, the sharp end. Just tell us what uh, what the end of the race was like. Uh, pretty straightforward, really. Just the two of us chopping off. Um, yeah, it was not boring, but I understand there was a. I think I read that there was a group, and then you you and, and one other split away from it or something. Yeah, I think it was nine of us originally, and then um, Paulo went solo. Uh, obviously, he's, he's a strong boy, so I thought... I was going to say, he's got a lot of watts. Yeah, so yeah, he's a good guy to follow, but... Um, yeah, it was like 15k to go or something, it was only two of us, so... We were, we were pretty doomed from the off, but it was worth a try. <laughs> so you weren't going to wait for the sprint? I mean, that was... Because everyone I, knows you as, as a really fast guy. Yeah, no, I've, I've had a... Uh, difficult year to say the least so um, it was a plan to help uh, especially Rory and Mark in that final uh, but just the way it unfolded it was a nice opportunity to have a go and with the group of nine like if we'd have worked I think that would have been gone but um, with the two it was a bit, of a bit of a pointless mission but it's worth a go. Well it's always nice to get the, the colours on, on TV and, uh, and yourself to say nominated for the uh, Combativity Award, which I'm surprised you didn't get, especially being from the Isle of Man. Um, how's the race been overall for you? Uh, it's all You've right. You've a it's few just, versions, haven't you? Yeah, no, nah, it's, it's probably the, the most, the flattest route we've done, which has made it a bit um, negative and yeah, it's not been the most exciting, but uh, it's always nice to race in Britain and the crowds have been good, so. As I said to Jacob, I've, I've spoken to a few guys who are looking to go to Pro Conti next year, and you've uh, you've gone from being a real winner in this country, you know, doing so many different races, including the big into Pro Conti. It's a different world, isn't it? Yeah, no, nah, obviously the level's high. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> shows like a race like Tour Britain, that's sort of the level you race out all year, really, and it's yeah, um, yeah it's not yeah, it's not, <laughs> not going to be easy to win a race this week. Have you got any highlights for the year so far? Well, it's almost uh, over, isn't it? Yeah, not really, no. It's been a bad no? year. Oh, right. Yeah. That's a, that's a, yeah. hasn't been great. Uh, and, and are you basing yourself in Europe or are you basing yourself on the rock? Uh, in Manchester. I'm oh, in Manchester? I know, I spend a... Oh, right, so the stage one was... <laughs> hometown, yeah. Home stage. Yeah, uh, no, I spent, and then with the racing, just spend like a few weeks at a time in Belgium uh, with the team, so... Final one, um, when I spoke to Ethan Vernon, uh, Day one, he said there was going to be six sprint stages, and that's quite unusual for the Tour of Britain because it's normally a lot harder than that. Have you found it easy? Because even yesterday, I saw someone grimacing going up with third cat five. No, it's definitely been um, normally every day is yeah. Yeah, really hard, but um, there's still not been easy days, but yeah, by far a long, a long way from the past few years I've done. <laughs> yeah. Have you raced at Newark before? No, I haven't. No, okay, the, the crits there are pretty new. There's, there's, a, there's a national series crit there now. Um, and I know you've done a lot of them in your time. But, uh, but good luck in Newark today. Cheers, thanks, Larry.